JAXA, the Japanese space agency, has recently launched a second Hayabusa probe, this one with many improvements over the first. Its target is the C-type asteroid 1999 JU-3. It's expected to reach its destination in three years, collect samples, and return to Earth by 2020. NASA has announced the OSIRIS-REx sample return mission to asteroid 1999 RQ-36, better known as Bennu. It's expected to launch sometime in the near future, and after a two-year journey, orbit and map the surface before touching down to retrieve two kilograms of material. The probe sample's return is expected in 2023. There is also a practical reason to study asteroids. In 2013, an asteroid with a mass of about 9,100 tons exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, with the force of 20 Hiroshima bombs, causing 1,500 injuries and damaging 7,000 buildings. It isn't the first asteroid strike on Earth, as the dinosaurs can attest to, and probably not the last. Through the United Nations, ESA and other major space agencies have established a safeguard program. The NEOWISE data have returned two very important findings. First, we've been able to determine that we've found 93% of all the near-Earth asteroids that are out there that are larger than one kilometer. We've also been able to tell that there are somewhat fewer near-Earth asteroids that are larger than 100 meters than were previously thought. However, fewer does not mean none. That leaves about 15,000 asteroids larger than 100 meters that remain to be found. This advisory group is also planning intervention missions if needed. We think that we can cope with uh, deflecting an asteroid with two different technologies mainly. One is what we call kinetic impactor, hitting the asteroid and pushing it out of the way. The second one is take a heavy spacecraft and use it as, say, a gravity tractor. So by the mass of the spacecraft, you pull the asteroid away. There is one project in the planning stage to snag a small asteroid in the near-Earth region and drag it into a lunar orbit.
There it can be met by astronauts aboard an Orion capsule who will study the asteroid firsthand, take extensive samples and return to Earth. For the more we know, the better prepared we are to protect our place in the solar system.